All right. Hello. Hello, everyone. I am running out of pictures. <laughs> I was like, oh god, this is the fourth, the fourth humor drawing stream. I need to, I need to make another thumbnail. <laughs> I was like, oh good, I haven't used this picture. Sweet. <laughs> Anyway, today should be the um, the last stream I need to finish this artwork, so... Sweet! <laughs> Hi! Hello! Uh, so... Probably don't need to talk too much. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you. Thank you everyone for coming to the stream again. Uh, I don't know, I get very excited when I see you guys like are waiting for the stream to start. I'm like, woo! People, people are waiting. <laughs> uh, but yeah, welcome, welcome. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys, but I did make some changes uh, before the stream started to the artwork. <laughs> um, but I clearly remember last night I was saying like I don't think I'm gonna change the proportions. Um, that was a lie. I ended up changing some of the proportions. Um, I basically just made his head bigger. So, if you see there, that was what it was last night. And now I've just, uh, I've now made his head bigger. Cause, uh, I don't know. The more I looked at it, the more I was like, I think his head could be bigger. <laughs> so, his head should be very big now. Uh, big, full of thoughts. <laughs> Um, we're gonna probably have an easier time with colors today because technically I've already drawn him. I've already drawn him one time. So I feel like I'm pretty much gonna use the same color palette that I did back then. Um, although some things might change, uh, I think the level of detail might increase just a tad. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think we're gonna have just a... A pretty easy, <laughs> easy, uh, a pretty smooth going uh, coloring stream tonight. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you, thank you guys for coming to, to just like keep me company again. <laughs> um, how's the music? Is it too loud or is it just fine? Because for me, it's like it's a decent volume. But, uh, we're, we're just gonna get straight into coloring, I suppose. Let's not waste time! <laughs> also, I gotta say, um, hi everybody. And, Mota, shouldn't you be, like, sleeping? <laughs> thank you, thank you so much! Is that Loiki? Loiki? Thank you so much. The stream is really laggy. No, oh, that's a shame. I mean, it might be because of my internet connection, but it says it's fine right now, so hopefully it's not because of me. <laughs> uh, I'm turning him purple right now, um, just so that I can see his uh, colors more easily, like the places I'm coloring easier. I'm sure a lot of people, a lot of artists do that. Because when you start with a really light color, you might miss a spot. And I know there are tools where you can just like paint bucket your way through closed lines, but I, I always enjoy doing the base colors uh, manually. For certain bits. I think it's just fun. <sighs> it's kind of fun to do. So. But yeah. Um. I've been thinking about like a streaming schedule and whatever and I'm like, ooh, uh, well, 
again, like we said yesterday, I think I'm going to try finishing um, AI or I the summoning files, <laughs> my let's play format. Ugh, but like, I don't look forward to editing. And I'm like, man, I like streaming a lot more now. So if I do play the sequel, uh, Nirvana Initiative, that would just be a streamed thing. I don't want to do Let's Plays. <laughs> um, but after I finish, uh, you know, Somnium Files, I'm thinking the next, like, game will probably be Rain Code. Um... Again, like, I don't know how long that'll take. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll just take however long it does take. And then, um, maybe, maybe after that, I would be interested in starting the, the Ace Attorney series. Because I've, I've never played it myself. <laughs> but, you know, I did, I did already, um, I pre-ordered the, um... Phoenix and Edgeworth Nendoroids. I have them. I just haven't unboxed them yet because I'm just like, well, I feel like I have to play the game. <laughs> I have to play the game and then I can unbox them, right? But um, I'm thinking about buying the uh, the Maya, Maya, and um, the other the other guy <laughs> as well. <laughs> They're Nendoroids as well, uh, in preparation. Because I, I have a feeling I'm going to enjoy the Ace Attorney series. Um, so, like, I might as well, you know? And they'll they'll look cute. They'll look cute next to my, um, my Dungarumpa Nendoroids as well. Ah, uh, Apollo. That's his name. <laughs> well, I know... Well, I know, I know, like, bits and pieces of the Ace Attorney series. But... Like, not everything. <laughs> it's been a while since I watched, um... A Let's Play of it. So... I really don't remember much. <laughs> but I think it was also one of those Let's Plays where I didn't really pay attention to it while watching it. So I'm like, yeah, that's Phoenix. <laughs> Phoenix Wright. And all the other wacky people. The thing is, like, isn't the Ace Attorney series, like, aren't a lot of games not on, uh, modern consoles? Because I, I was buying them on, uh, Steam and I was like, ah, oh, uh, they only have the trilogy and then, um, DGS. I'm like, where, where's the other ones? I feel like, you know, they really could just release them. I'm sure a lot of people would buy it. Ah, uh, on the DS. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe we should just emulate them. <laughs> oh, no worries. Thank you for joining the stream. Have a good rest of your day. I was thinking, if I finish this commission really quickly, um, I might open... <laughs> I might open, uh, Tomodachi Life. 
on stream and we can kind of see where my island's at because it's been a while since I've I've touched it <laughs> but maybe maybe not it really depends on how fast I finish <laughs> I would like to do another um, Tomodachi live stream again I just I like I used to just like go in daily just to make sure I collected stuff um, but I haven't done that for maybe two weeks now. I'm like, oops. <laughs> My little scrimblows. I wonder how they're doing. Just a layer for every different section. <laughs> Every different section is a new layer of color. Honestly, like I saw the the Steam release of um, the Ace Attorney series, and I was like, "Oh, I kind of, I feel like I kind of prefer the pixel art." I don't know if I. I like the the cleaned up artwork. I feel like the art style translated in a way where it didn't seem very detailed. At least of what I've seen. I'm like, I don't know. The pixely the pixely looked nice. <laughs> Oh hey, maybe we should just... I bought it, so you know. I paid the money, but maybe I could emulate it as well. <laughs> anyway, I feel like if I got into Ace Attorney now, I would be like, Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like it's it's I'm the right age for it now, you know? As a working adult. They're like working adults. They have jobs. Working adult, yowie. <laughs> <laughs> What's better than that? There's a lot of blues going on in this art.
If you guys draw, do you guys like doing line art or coloring or sketching or backgrounds? Like what's your what's your favorite part of art? To draw. For me, it's the sketch and the color. <laughs> uh, that's what I like to do. <laughs> I'll be waiting for the day that you're exposed to Phoenix and Edgeworth. Yeah. What's their, what's their ship name? Isn't it like the Japanese names? I don't know if Phoenix Wright and Edgeworth have like a English ship name. <laughs> Gay lawyers. Is that what the ship name is? <laughs> right worth. Okay, that's not too bad. <laughs> Because I think in Japanese it's like Narumitsu. Something like that. Eh. What the heck? Where... Where is this thought coming from? There. Um, 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 um. Naru Mitsu. I wonder how the, uh, the fan works of, uh, Ace Attorney are like. Like, does anyone actually go into, is there actual, like, law, court drama fan fiction? Or, like, it's like, nah, we don't know the law. We just want our, we just want our gay men to, to have silly fun times. <laughs> Or is there like actually fan fiction where it's like people write up a court case and it's like the tension in the air was high. <laughs> Edgeworth pushed to Edgeworth puts Phoenix to the edge <laughs> in more ways than one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> As soon as court finished, Edgeworth and uh, Phoenix rendezvoused outside in, uh, in Edgeworth's uh, car. No, in his office. Where they discussed what happened in court. <laughs> and also make out, make out violently <laughs> in the office. I'll be like, oh, you defeated me, Phoenix. You defeated me in court. But not in the bedroom! <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what I uh, imagine Ace Attorney fanfiction is like. <laughs> the defendant is not guilty. Oh, congratulations, right? <laughs> Oh, thank you, Edgeworth. <laughs> Phoenix, like, let me win this case. Let me win this case and you can do whatever you want to be tonight. And Edgeworth is like, oh! <gasps>
This man is... This man is... Innocent! <laughs> Thank you, Edgeworth. <laughs> Uh, anyway. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but, uh, I don't write fanfiction. <laughs> I'm not a writer. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know that's shocking. Like, you know, they're like, what? But that was a great story. He should totally write it. We're like, no, 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 no. Writing isn't for me. <laughs> I don't know how to write. And I also don't know the law. I'm pretty sure you would be breaking a lot of laws <laughs> in the fanfiction. Public indecency. <laughs> You're an <laughs> Key writing is a bestseller right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh man. I'll be the next Twilight. I'm excited for Ace Attorney. You know, the characters are adults. I'm like, ooh. Are we gonna have any more, like, relatable adult problems? <laughs> or are they gonna act like high schoolers as well? <laughs> My my brain went to places just now, so let me let me explain. Um, so you know how like there's I know the catchphrases, right? Like objection. <laughs> Have there been? I'm I'm sure there must be. There must be like fan fiction where it's like they they make um, Phoenix or Edgeworth say objection like during the middle of like sex or whatever. <laughs> Is like, are you gonna come? Objection! I'm not. <laughs> anyway, sorry, sorry, kids. <laughs> Hold it! <laughs> Hold it in. <laughs> Oh, we're so mature. I mean, I guess I won't really ask the relationships of the characters. I've, like... I don't know. I, I, I feel like just from, like, what I've seen in fan art and stuff... I don't think, like, I've seen... 
like Maya and Phoenix being shipped together. So I'm like, all right, all right. I get the feeling. I get the feeling that Ace Attorney is for the gays. And I'm like, mm mm mm. -mm. I see, I see. <laughs> Save. Alright, well, I believe that's like the base done. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> I, I watched a little bit of the Ace Attorney anime. I think I watched like one episode when it was first airing and I was like, this kind of is meh. <laughs> like uh, anime wise. But um, I also watched the, uh, the dub blooper compilation that somebody put on YouTube and I was like, I'm glad the voice actors are having fun. <laughs> it's been a while and I don't remember stuff. Nice buddy. Buddy Oddy, welcome. Welcome to the stream. I mean it's all good. We're 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 coloring now. I just finished the, the base colors. So I'm adding shading now. I'm giving him like slight uh Eye bag, <laughs> eye baggy look. Whoops. Mm 
Time limits. What do you mean by time limits, though? Do you have, like, a, a timer on your, like, uh, internet usage? He's so pale and purple. Glow. Oh god, that's too much glow. Make him purple. Eh, that's that's kind of pinky purple e. <laughs> Okay, dogs. Move on to the hair. Just screen time. I see. <laughs> well, thank you for wanting to spend some of your screen time watching my stream. I hope you're doing other stuff as well. <laughs> I wonder if rain code will ever be popular enough to get figures because I would I think I would like a figure of Shinigami. <laughs> I think she's cute. She's got a fun design. Uh good boobs. <laughs> and I think she could have some very fun posing. Yuma's eh. <laughs> Like, if I had not drawn him with all the accessories and stuff, I think he would have looked a little plain. I also gotta be a little bit careful um, because blues and purples, um, if they're too bright, don't tend to print out 
as bright because of CMYK. So I'm gonna have to check that um, this one in particular uh, when converted to CMYK is still gonna look good. But I think we should be fine. I think we should be okay. I'm gonna just reuse my color palette from last drawing. <laughs> Lazy. Or is it? It's called being efficient. I love the way that um, Komatsuzaki uh, Rui's art, like the eyes, um, started having more, you know, distinct designs to them. Because I feel like I, I didn't really notice it, if there were any, I guess, in um, Trigger Happy Havoc, but in a... Uh, in the second game, there's definitely some characters who have, like, deliberate eye patterning. I just think that's cool. <laughs> yeah, her I'm pretty sure Mew's like eye shape is hexagonal. It's not like round either. I'm gonna bring up her sprite <laughs> quickly. Don't worry, no spoilers. Apart from her, like, character design, I suppose. Um, uh, ba 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 where is it? Oh! Oh, I don't have it open right now. Oh, damn. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'll have to Google it. Miyu Iruma. Show me her eyeballs. <laughs> the full image. Yeah, like... Uh, oh, maybe it's not as clear in here, but you can see that Mew's uh, eyes are not round. They're actually like... I guess that's an octagon? Octagon shaped. <laughs> and she's got a, like, this going on or something like that. I don't know, it's kind of cool. <laughs> I 
But yeah, you see a lot of like, um, especially in uh, Ultra Despair Girls um, with the kids, they all have very uh, distinct patterns in their eyes. The first one that I can think of though is uh, for, um, you know, Hinata. He's also got a very distinct eye pattern. I just think that's cool. Um, and I, I I like to keep the way I draw eyes very simple, like or color them very simple. You know, like I see tutorials of people like how do how to draw an anime eye, and they've got like fifty billion steps, and I'm like, I cannot, <laughs> I can't do that. Anyway, I'm gonna try to avoid talking about like Dangarompa spoilery things. Um, because I know, Moto, you just started. <laughs> you just started playing. So, for your sake, for your sake, let's keep this stream as spoiler free as possible. time is it for you? Because when you like, you stream like six hours? Five hours? Like, did you even sleep? Mara, go to bed! <laughs> Yeah, Mota just got up to where uh, Nike saw his motive video. So still very early on. What is like I can't I can't leave. What if Key talks about Phoenix Wright and Edgeworth having gay sex again? <laughs> I'm like, oh, you got me there, you got me there, Moda. I could I could talk about that more. <laughs> it's definitely not something you wanna miss, eh? <laughs>
7 p.m. 9.15. 10 15. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it's not 10.15. It's also 9... It's 9.17 here for me. Buddy, you're like gaslighting me. I'm like, wait, it's... Is it 9 o'clock? <laughs> it's 9. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> You know, when I make my tweets about these streams, I'm like... I don't feel like I... I don't feel like tagging them. I don't feel like tagging uh, Erica or um, Lucy and I'm like, yeah, they're busy. They, like, I know they commissioned me and they let me draw this, but I'm like, ah, I don't want to be annoying. <laughs> I don't want to be annoying and tag them that I'm working on their thing. Like, will they feel like they're obliged to retweet it? And I'm like, no, no, it's okay. You don't have to. <laughs> I'm just going to draw and then send you progress when I get there. I don't know. I'm a little shy. Let's do a save. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they would be fine if I had tagged them. But I'm also like, ooh. <laughs> ooh, it's happening. You don't have to. You don't have to see it though. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm just going to quickly color some of the line art because I feel like I get a better idea of how much I need to change my uh, colors once I see it with the colorful line art. You know, um, I was thinking, like, uh, I would like to do a birthday themed stream at some point. Probably not on my birthday, because you gotta spend that with your family. But maybe next week I'll do like a belated birthday themed thing. What, what will actually happen? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll just talk for about Kamida for like... Five hours. 
which is not that different from every day. But I was thinking I could use it as an excuse to maybe unbox some of my figures. <laughs> I'm like, happy birthday to me! This wasn't specifically a birthday thing, but... <laughs> Now it is! Save. You told your teacher? Wait, what? You, you tell your teacher about me? <laughs> what? <gasps> the hell? What? No, 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 no. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, Val. Don't, don't, don't stress if you don't make it in time. I'm already... I'm very, very, very happy that you you even wanted to do birthday art for me. What? <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Take take your time, you know. Is your birthday next week? No, my birthday is this Thursday. <laughs> my birthday is the 11th. I'm like thinking to myself, I'm like, damn. Maybe I should edit my Twitter bio. I feel like I can no longer just say plus 20. <laughs> I'm not in my, I'm not in my early 20s. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> Maybe I need to put plus 25 <laughs> in my Twitter bio. One of my fic favorite fictional characters. <laughs> Am I the favorite fictional character? <laughs> or do you mean... I, I keep forgetting which one's which. Which one Kirumi is and which one um, Mikan is. The 10th and the, the 12th. I just remember that they surround my birthday. Mocking me. <laughs> Because so far, I've only been able to, like, find one anime character that shares my birthday. Ah, yeah, Kirumi. Kirumi's cool. I feel like... Oh, well, maybe that's spoilers. We won't talk about spoilers. <laughs> I, I really like Kirumi's design. That it's like an inverted color palette of a typical maid dress.
And like they voice cast her very well in English. I don't think I've heard Kirumi. Actually, I don't think I've ever really listened to V3 in Japanese because I played it in English and I haven't watched anyone play it in Japanese. So much. <laughs> I've never used Japanese dubs for JRPGs. I think it really depends on like, um, yeah, like how you want to experience the game, or if you don't mind like reading text. <laughs> I guess, because like if if the characters are all speaking in your uh, in a language you understand, you don't have to focus as much. I feel like to take in information. So I feel like people who play like Dungarumpa or stuff like that for the first time, you, you might as well go with the English dub first. So that you're not like, I don't know, having to deal with audio that you might not understand and also trying to read a bunch of text very quickly. <laughs> The Komaida body pillow. Yeah! Oh, actually, is, is Chu not responding? Chu, hello. <laughs> I can, I can take it away. <laughs> I can take it away. I feel so naked. <laughs> or put it back on. Yeah! Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> but yeah. Sweet, look. Complete outfit change. <laughs> Every time I, I've, I see this um, this outfit though, I'm, I'm not used to seeing Chu with such a big bazongas. <laughs> Bazonga! So put that jacket back on. Be decent. <laughs> We got the pro mare lighting going on right now. <laughs>
I know I should probably do all this like lighting stuff afterwards <laughs> so that I can keep it consistent through the whole thing but right now I just feel like doing the hat so that it doesn't look so one-dimensional Okay, uh, I'm going to move on to his clothes now. Wait, CC. CC! Congratulations! That's so exciting! Good luck working on the commission. No pressure, you know, take your time with it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, like before I went to bed last night, I was um I was talking to a, a friend. Um her name's Yuki. Anyway, I was just talking to her and then she she was like, I'm I'm watching I'm watching your Kumihina fan game stream right now. And I'm like <laughs> What? <laughs> she was like, yeah. You're so funny, and I'm like, no! <laughs> Don't tell me you're watching that right now, as we're talking. <laughs> um, uh, I had a lot of fun doing those chains. Oh, man. I still have, like, one, one root left in the theatrical release fan game by Yandere for Hope um I'm thinking 
I'll probably stream it maybe sometime this month. <laughs> so if anyone was like, when's Key gonna play the final route of that game? Uh, we'll, we'll do it this month sometime. I'm very excited for it, you know? Like, we started from a place where we were like, Damn, I've never read smut out loud in my life before. At least not for a... Not for a, a stream. Sheesh! <laughs> to, to like having to like... Oh god. Anyway, Yonder for Hope. Good fan games. <laughs> I'm very excited. So, um, I was part of a, um... A Komahina fanzine. Uh, that was like... I think it was called Towards the Future. <laughs> I forget the title of it. Because I'm just like, it, it's just the... It's just the Komahina zine. What is it? The Future is Ours. My bad. <laughs> the Future is Ours, the Komahina zine. And I'm excited because... Um, I, I got my copy and I'm like, yeah! <laughs> and I was thinking like, maybe that should be like a part of us, the unboxing or whatever, if I do one. <laughs> but also the, the Komahina zine, um, they're planning to release a fan game as well. A, fan, a Komahina fan game, and I'm like, yo, you, you know, I gotta, I gotta stream it. <laughs> I gotta stream it when it's done. So I'm looking forward to that. I never read smut in the first place. Spotty, you're such a pure... So pure! <laughs> of course, like, not safe for work isn't everyone's cup of tea. But I I feel like I'm to the point where I'm just like, it, it's cool, you know? Part of life. <laughs> I like to see my scrimblow screw, you know? <laughs> Not safe for it because it was uh, become the internet. Well, I don't know. Like, not just the internet. As they say, sex sells. And you see a lot of, you know, I guess provocative imagery in your, in any kind of media. <laughs> Well, maybe, uh, you, uh, in, in the form that I mean, like, not, not any kind of media. Not like, uh, that was the wrong word to say. <laughs> I meant, like, you'll see it on TV, you'll see it in advertising, like, <laughs> and stuff like that. Just like, ooh, sexy stuff. <laughs> But uh, the internet is definitely a place where you can find a lot of it. Ha 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 ha. I 
I mean, I kind of grew up shying away from those kinds of topics. I, I felt like, I don't know, that feeling of uh, shame and guilt or something, something like that, for, I guess, um, even trying to like, or like just learning about um, how the body works and sexual reproductive organs and stuff like that in school i i was like i don't know i was very uncomfortable by those kinds of topics but when i look back at it i'm like i understand why it's because like i feel like you're you're made to feel like embarrassed about learning about how the body works and like, not safe for work topics, at least like in a safe environment, you know? <laughs> but now that I'm like older, I'm like, you know what? I think, honestly, it might be better to have, you know, some knowledge about these kinds of topics so that you can navigate them in a way that's comfortable for you. Depending on context and whatever. How we get on this topic? I don't remember. <laughs> How did we get on this topic? It just seems to, to happen, huh? Oh, we were talking about the Komahina fan game. And how my friend was watching my my VOD. <laughs> uh I don't know, I had fun with them. <laughs> Even though like I get very like, whoa, in the moment. Like when I look back, I'm like, that was so funny. more Kohina fan game streams. I I would love to. But like, you know, people actually have to make them. <laughs> I played a bunch of like um Komida dating fan games on stream. Which were pretty fun. But I remember in like in university, like, um, I had a friend who, uh, cause like, there were a lot more fan games you could access back then. I think a lot of them, maybe the, like, the links are broken now or something like that, so it's kind of lost time. But there were a lot more, like, just random, really short Dagarapa fan games, and my friend and I would just play them, and we would just like be like, oh my god, Kamai and Hinata, they're falling in love again.
But like, that's why when I when you don't have that stuff, like, uh, that's why I liked um, playing uh, Miitopia and Tomodachi Life, because I'm like, yes, more content of my scrimblows. Especially Metopia, I was like a whole adventure and fun little like interactions. I was like, my fanfics! My fanfics! They're so real! Okay, I need to draw his like arm pattern, arm sleeve pattern. I just ate my dinner. Hello. Oh, no worries, buddy. Thank you so much for coming to the stream. This music's so dramatic. It sounds like... 
the big boss approaching. <laughs> Ooh, that will not work. <laughs> like the um the colors are a little bit off I change some stuff yep My mom just asked me if I needed water. I have water. The thing is, I don't want the colors to be too dark. Um, because then when you print it out, it might not be like very distinct, very clear what's going on. They all start blending together. That's okay. I'm gonna make the cape slightly darker. Seems okay. Mm 
Okay, the shirt, uh, the upper coat needs to be darker than the shorts. Okay. I mean, I feel like I don't have to be that, um, accurate in that sense, but... Oh well, let's just go for it. <laughs> There's just a ton of blue going on. So I think the highlighting and everything will definitely help um, break apart everything. Especially with this huge black um, cape that's going on in the background. <laughs> So much blue. He's blue, dubba dee dubba die. Colors aren't off, the originals are off, yeah. If Dangarapa were to give you a job as a storyboarder or a concept artist, would you take it? Um... In a, in a fictional world where that even has the possibility of happening... I'm not sure. <laughs> Only if, like, the pay was good and communication wouldn't be too difficult <laughs> but like um yeah pay is important guys <laughs> I'm going off to lunch now looking super sweet in the moment thank you thank you so much Go enjoy your lunch.
Yeah, I just have the the DGS um, OST playing right now. <laughs> Saving. Save, save, save. Thank you. When I showed off my art in a chat room, the girls said it was cute. I don't want to be cute. Cute's not bad. <laughs> but I guess it depends on what you were going for in the artwork. <laughs> Did you want them to say it was cool?
Whoopsies. Oopsies, come back here. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I 
feel like I'm jumping all over the place when it comes to these details here. <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine. Time for little ghosty, ghosty pal. the notifications on my phone <laughs> it's going <bzz. All right, the book. Uh, 
Mikey, I heard we could request for you to sign out DR Bunny scene, so I wanted to ask where you can send you my order number for that. Oh, um, if you... Just so, like, I'm not, dis like, distracted right now and completely forget. If you just tweet at, um, the DR Bunny zine Twitter account, or if you email, uh, at the keymydela at gmail.com, um, and just let me know your order number, uh, I will add that to the, the notes. Thank you! <laughs> yeah, so my plan is that I'll... I'll just like do a little signature uh, on the the page with um, Usami on it at the front. That's where I'm planning to sign. I don't think I'll sign the book covers unless like someone really wanted me to sign the cover of it. Uh, but I was planning to do a signing inside. Okay, this looks not too bad at the moment. Uh, clearly, I need to make my lighting consistent uh, all the way through. But if I just turn that off right now... That's not too bad, I think. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna add a very light... Purpley background right now. Okay. Just so I can see, uh, yeah, like where I've made mistakes. Like right there. Hmm, apart from that, I think. I don't think anything else is sticking out of the outlines. Which is good. Real key signing. Have I not signed something for you before, Ken? <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to see if I can find my, like, gold marker. Uh, cause... Using a gold marker is pretty cool. <laughs> But yeah, like, I suppose if anyone wanted it, I could also sign the prints if you didn't want the book to be signed. Um, I'm just gonna default to signing the books unless uh, otherwise stated. <laughs> and unlike a voice actor or actress, I won't charge you for a signature. <laughs> Free signature pog. <laughs> mm. 
indeed, I think that is pretty pog. <laughs> But yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy to uh, do like little requests for signing if people want to and think of it. I'm very flattered <laughs> that you would want my um, signature. This sounds like a VTuber's background music. <laughs> the music that's playing right now. It's so bubbly. Like, I can imagine it as a VTuber starting screen sound. I'm gonna stretch my arms <laughs> while I'm saving. Ah, I'm good. <laughs> Certified key fans would love your signature. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Um, actually, I, I was allowed to write my signature on these prints as well. But I also was like, I feel like I shouldn't really make it that visible. So I can show you where it is on Kibo. It's like right here. It's just a tiny, a tiny key that uh, you might not even notice unless you knew it was there. <laughs> but I think like it's subtle, doesn't like distract from the artwork. Um, but if you looked hard enough, you could see it. <laughs> What is this sad violin? <laughs> that I'm hearing right now. Oh, I think it's over. Well, <laughs> um, I will probably be putting um, my signature on Either, like, maybe Yuma's hat, or maybe, like, here in his cape, or maybe here in his cape. Or maybe even, like, on the book. Something, something subtle and not, like, gonna be very distracting, because <laughs> obviously I want this to be able to, like, be given as, like, a signature print for... Um, Lucian. So, like, his signature should definitely stand out <laughs> way more. <laughs> uh, 
Um, anyway, I'm going to continue with coloring these lines now. All right, um, I'm gonna add the lighting to everything now and uh, see how that goes. Very, um, I suppose, like, neon light reflective. <laughs>
Whoops. Let's make this. Whoops, look at those mistakes. <laughs> Color dodge? Eh, that's okay. So many layers. I have to scroll so far to get anywhere. I think... Uh, what do you guys think? Should I go with a dark background or a light background? The thing is, I don't know what kind of markers they can use. If, they, if they're using like a black marker for signing, then obviously a dark background is not ideal. <laughs> mm. But I feel like... Like, it works both ways. Hmm... <laughs> I don't know. I need to think about this. Maybe...
<laughs> mm? Yeah, that's the thing. You gotta, like... I feel like if the background is dark and the clothes are a dark color as well, my main concern is whether the details will stand out in a print. Purple background. Mm. I feel like I could make it slightly lighter as well. Just so he stands out a bit more. Like the darker you make the background, the less um he really pops. <laughs> Maybe something like this? <laughs> I think it doesn't look too bad. Um, like, you don't want the, the background to be too distracting anyway. It's mainly, I think, like, focus on character art and the signature placement. make this purple I think Should I give him a blushy, a blushy line? <laughs> like, I like giving characters a blush line. <laughs> that doesn't look very good. <laughs> Background color fits really well, you think? Oh, thank you. I see in this artwork that uh, the book kind of glows. So I, I'm thinking about doing some kind of glow effect here. It's saving! I think because the canvas in the file is getting really big, it's doing more frequent um, saves.
<laughs> okay, that looks kind of ugly. <laughs> I gotta redo that. I'll just do it a bit simpler. The book could be a bit smaller, um, but I, I don't think I'm gonna change it. If you call your art ugly, I don't think I could go on. No! <laughs> oh. I, I wouldn't call my art ugly. Sometimes I just make the wrong decision. <laughs> that putting it nicer <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna add my, uh, my white highlights now. And then I will add my sparkles. My sparkles that I love a lot. <laughs>
I'll just have to make sure, um, and I'll probably do that off screen, um, that the colors will look good in CMYK. Because if they don't, I'm gonna need to adjust the color palette. It's really hard because CMYK doesn't like bright blues. So, if it doesn't accept this blue that I've got going on, I'm gonna need to do something. Have a good night's sleep, CZ. Thank you for coming to watch. <laughs> Let me think. Okay. Let me add my sparkles. And then I'll... I'll think if I need to add any more details anywhere. <laughs>
Just sparkles everywhere. <laughs> I, uh... Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I could call this done ish. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Let me think about it. Oh, hey, the music ran out. Well, that would have been perfect timing. <laughs> okay, let me think about this. I think I could add a little bit more thickness to the line art in this area. Um, it's not necessary, but maybe. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I'm happy with how it looks right now, too. <laughs> What I could do is, let me just save this, save, <laughs> and we can try open Photoshop and uh, see what the difference between uh, CMYK and is it RBG, RGB is, <laughs> and have a little cry. <laughs> or maybe be pleasantly surprised that it's not too bad. All right, let me save this as a, uh, I'll just save it as a, like a PNG for now. Mm -mm. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm wondering if I should make um, Shinigami not outlined in black so she's a bit more ghostly but maybe it's fine the way it is maybe you don't have to over detail things i'll still be okay okay are you guys ready to see the the difference between <laughs> Digital and CMYK. <laughs> Let me 
open up. Where is... Where is the... Uh, Photoshop? Window capture. New source. Uh, Photoshop. Oh, no, that's not it. <laughs> not this one. Uh, where the heck is it? <laughs> Whoops, you saw some previews of other things that are not necessarily mine. <laughs> show the it wouldn't show the art oh well <laughs> oh man it won't it won't show oh actually okay you know what it's not that bad of a difference how, how do I get Photoshop to show up on my screen Photoshop It won't... What? <laughs> hmm... I'm not sure why Photoshop won't uh, let me screen capture. But um, I guess just rest assured... It doesn't look too bad. <laughs> it doesn't look too bad. Comparatively. Oh, you know what I could do? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Save as. Save as. Number two. Uh, okay. Now open. How do I... Oh dear. How do I put two, two canvases on screen at one time? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're good. I can take I can take a screenshot. A screenshot will work. <laughs> I have no idea why Photoshop won't show up. Anyway. Here we go. Okay, so here's the digital and then this is what it looks like in CMYK. Um I mean you do lose some brightness in the art like for example if you compare the little ghosty it definitely is more dull in the CMYK version but if you were only to look at the CMYK version it's not too bad it's actually not bad I was I was like bracing myself for a even worse result so this is not too bad <laughs> I'm I'm pretty relieved with that. I thought it would dull the colors like drastically. But it's not too terrible. Which is good to know. <laughs> well in that case, um I feel like I'm pretty happy with this. Um there might be like some slight changes that I wanted to make, like um let me let me add that line thickness that I was mentioning before. I wanna I wanna listen to Ultra Spare Girls OST. OST I think the Ultra Despair Girls um, theme is uh, one of my favorite VR tracks. 
I don't know. I just like the vibe of it. <laughs> Same with like um, Monami's theme. So good. <laughs> Just Monami in the club. I want to add like okay <laughs> again I don't want to add too many details to it but you know how like the Dungarumpa character artwork they have the the thing that's like the like black lines that um go with like emotion <laughs> I, I I think that would be cool but I don't know how to execute that nice nicely so I guess we won't <laughs> um I can't think of anything else that I would like to add onto this for the moment oh except for my signature I should add that can't forget that <laughs> um I'll, I'll find a good place to put it good or I think it's very um visible <laughs> I might change the position of it somewhere else so you guys were saying on the book oh I feel like it's gonna be very crowded on this book Oh no, you can barely see it there. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> At least not in that section. I don't think I should put it near his face, is all. I don't that's why I don't want to put it on his hat. I think if I put it on his hat, um people will notice it far more. So maybe here's fine. Here might be just fine. Subtle enough. <laughs> I'm 
Okay, let me... Let me rewrite it, though. <laughs> That actually goes along the curvature. This white line is too much. Yeah. Okay, save. Save, 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 save. with that. <laughs> I'll probably um I'll probably send it to uh Erica to have her and Lucian take a look at it and let me know if they want anything extra done to it. But I feel like I'm pretty satisfied with this. Um but what I might do is like send it to them in the morning after I wake up and like have a another look at it because <laughs> like it took me sending it to erica to be like actually i think i want to make his head bigger <laughs> I think I think this is this is very nice <laughs> and I'm very pleased with it I wish Shinigami would look a little bit brighter but we can only do what we can make her full purple can call this done for now which I don't know I'm very excited yay <laughs> I don't know if I should make um Shinigami's line art a different color so it's not black Let me just attempt it, and if that looks bad, then we'll we'll just call it done. <laughs> Cause I'm trying to see if it would look good if she doesn't like blend into his shoe here. Hmm, it's a very subtle difference. Yeah, I think I'll do it. There's like a very slight difference in color for the line art. If you like zoom in. 
But that probably won't really get picked up in uh, the print. But I'll know that it's there. Oh, right, I didn't put, um, did not put shading on these white areas. Okay, now are we done? <laughs> I keep I keep going like, okay, we're done. Wait. Okay, we're done. Wait. Are we done now? Wait. <laughs> pleased with this and um yeah man it's so weird to think that these two are done I'm like oh god it's over but it's not it's not over yet <laughs> um so why don't I I showed off the the Maki sketch last time. Um, but how about if you guys want, I'll show you the Maki and Nagisa sketch this time. <laughs> so, firstly, I do plan to like re sketch this again. <laughs> There's so many, so many versions. Uh, but I plan to resketch it again. But that is Maki. And then uh, the fourth one. Is Nagisa. Nagisa from Ultra Just Bear Girls. Oh my e, they're cute. <laughs> Yeah, so obviously like these these two are for um, Lucien and then these two are for Erica and I'm just like ah! I'm very excited <laughs> I'm very excited to do them as well. Um, I'm not sure if um, I'm gonna be able to finish these two in time for uh, Erica to also have them for the con, but we'll try. Cause um, Erica basically was like, "Yeah, prioritize the ones for uh, Lucian first. I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> so I'm excited to work on these two as well. I think they're cute. <laughs> I added a little Monokuma. Little Monokuma doll, because I thought that would be kind of cute next to him. <laughs> will I stream those? Yeah, I will. Um, basically, like, Erica just gave me permission to 
to stream and also like sell the artwork um, as long as it, was, as it wasn't in the same con uh, that they would be at. But I was like, no, it's okay. I, uh, I'm probably going to wait a year at least so that they have the artwork exclusively for now. Oh, I'm I'm very pleased. Um, I wonder if I should have extended the canvas a little bit, um, to make up for bleed and everything. Um, maybe I should do that. <laughs> but I'll I'll ask what what dimensions they need. Anyway, <laughs> I guess for now. Um, I could end the stream here. It is almost 11.30, so I could go to bed. <sighs> I could go to bed. But, um, I guess... Yeah, I don't feel like opening Tomodachi Life right now, but... I guess I'll just be like... Traditional pencil, what a liar. In the stream, <laughs> just a small, a small, tiny rat, rat on your screen. Avi, <laughs> uh, thank you everybody for coming to the stream. I'm glad that we could finish, uh, finish the artwork. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll probably do some more editing off stream before I send it off. And then, um, if I get permission, I'll post it. <laughs> I'll post it and I'll be like, look, go get that print. <laughs> no worries. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me on the stream as well. Again, like, thank you for keeping me company. <laughs> and, um, uh, maybe, maybe the next stream will be working on Maki or Nagisa. Maybe. <laughs> so look forward to that. Alright. See you everybody. Have a good night. Slash rest of your day. I'll see y'all next time. <laughs> Bye!